Hello, welcome back to the uh, basic setting up of OpenEMR. Uh, in the last video, we learned about how to set up pharmacies, insurance companies, insurance numbers, X12 partners. There are a few more that I thought uh, you would like to know more about. Now, documents. Now, when you go here, there are several kinds of documents that a patient might have and that you need to store in your EMR. And you can define categories which needs to hold those documents. For example, we already have default categories provided to you. So you can store or upload the advanced directives. Uh, you can store the CCDs and the CCR that you get from other people, the lab reports. And if you want to, of course, we also have provided the ID card and the patient photograph. All this will come together when we go and in the com upcoming videos, when we go and enter the patient's information. And if you want to add more categories, you can click here and say add a category and you will say so you have an additional category done now if you want to create a sub category of that you can click on that and the logic continues so this is one uh, factor that I wanted to show you in this video the next one is something uh, we call lists now Open EMR is constructed in such a way that things are malleable, it can be flexible, you can add and delete a lot of things. So all these comes from a table that is called lists and so you can provide a lot of lists here. So for instance, if you go and check state we have added almost all the states. You want to add something out here, you can add that. Now, you might be from a different country and you want to add different states, so you can do that. There are reasons for the appointment statuses. Some of these things are inherent and important to the coding aspect of OpenEMR, like for example the appointment statuses. So. It is advisable not to mess with that area unless you know what you're doing. If you want to add new lists, you can do that. This comes in handy when you are making your own forms using the layout based form systems. Uh, you can have chart storage locations like file room one, file room two. And these rules are, these lists are really uh, a major criteria for open EMR for example another one the ethnicity you can keep adding more and more ethnicities here drug units of course the countries all these things are important so that is what lists do and another thing that lists do is when you want to make a layout based form, you can add the name here. And then you can go in and make a new form. So first you create the name of the form here. And when you go and try to create a layout based form, that form should come. So these three, the first three are default in the system. This is one that I had created recently, like you see. This one, see, the test. So that is another one that you need to keep in mind. Now another important uh, part of OpenEMR is the address book. This is where you store many of your contact information and you will see when you click on something you can have different types of contacts
and this is something that is very handy and if you are entering specialists those things will come up when you are entering who referred a patient to you so it must be a specialist so that address book you can enter here whatever goes under the lab service will be important when you are entering the procedure section of uh, this EMR system so that will come in handy for the lab services and other things so this is another area that is very important and that you should know about and you can add new it's very simple and of course you need all the details that you need to be adding Uh, other than that, uh, let me just check if there is anything else that needs to be added. Not really at this stage. Uh, maybe uh, the form section. Now, the forms is something that is used as a matter of entering data. And there are some pre-built forms that have been provided default with OpenEMR and you can uh, go in and register these forms and activate or deactivate forms and that is why this forms menu is important. So I think at this stage we are pretty much uh, clear on the basic setup of your clinic. The next video will go and show you how to create a new patient and how to enter all this information. So good luck.